What's up, YouTube? It's Ask the Young One with CreateHighVibrations.com. Now, today I had a question come in, so I thought I would make a, a quick video about it. And the question is, did the narcissist ever love me? And can I create a loving relationship with the narcissist, even though they are a very hurt person? And from my experience and the things that I've learned through studying a narcissist is that they cannot love. And the fact that they function and their love is based off of infatuation and lust. And therefore, it creates more of a mirroring effect that they mirror things that they, that they learn from society. They mirror things back from what they learn from you as well. They will mirror your love back to you. And they can, they can always read something, watch a movie, see what love looks like, and then they can mirror that back into the relationship. So therefore, it creates that, that illusion or that look or feeling of love. But it's not an actual unconditional love for you, as you later probably will learn in any relationship with a narcissist, everything becomes conditional. And that is not actual love and so i wanted to answer that question and hopefully it creates a better understanding so now i'm going to go into the parts and some a couple of things that i've learned um, throughout this process in dealing with these types of people and when dealing with them you know we go through our phases our, our anger our grieving our just overall like WTF you know and how, how did this all happen and why did we end up in these situations etc and for me it was it got to the point where I didn't I never wanted to experience this again so for me I wanted to take self-responsibility for myself and start challenging my own perception of love my own perceived reality of what love is to me and not understanding the depths of unconditional love taught me that all of the times that my vulnerabilities were being played on and I was being made to feel like a bad person and my self-worth was being played on because I would stay in these situations when people were attacking these things about me and therefore that was showing me that my own self-love that my own effects of what I thought love were were coming from outside like I needed other people to accept me to feel loved rather than me first accepting myself to feel loved and this is one thing too that a narcissist cannot do a narcissist cannot go inward and fully accept themselves unconditionally because of just because of the, they're not connected to that they're not into that part of themselves they're not conscious of that they're not walking with a conscious connection to themselves and so they cannot do that but we can do that we have that capability so this is what understanding how a narcissist cannot love you back and you got your, we got ourselves into these situations and we can start questioning our own perceptions start questioning our own realities and how our versions of love were taught to us were we living based off of a belief system or programming from our caregivers, our parents, their views of love? Is that what we got? You know, was that how we were functioning in, in life? And it got us to that point of getting entangled with someone that really had the only thing that they had was a way of conditionally creating the illusion of love and it, you know for me so you know I wanted to plant the seed and you know that's how it got to me once I got past all of the anger and the grief and the version the, you know the versions or the parts of blaming this narcissist and blaming this person and not taking my own self-responsibility once I got past all of that and decided that this would never happen again that is when I started questioning everything about myself my beliefs about what love is my beliefs about how love made me feel my beliefs about how I actually loved other people 
my beliefs about everything that I was doing. And so that I wanted to plant that seed with this. You know, it's not really about can the narcissist love me? The question is going to come back to can I love myself enough to accept the fact that if I decide to pursue these relationships with this type of person that I won't be loved and I have to ask myself is that self-love is is that a sign of my own thoughts and perception of my own worth or is it worthy enough of me that I deserve to be loved unconditionally as I love unconditionally and so you know I wanted to kind of throw that out there in this video and I hope that it plants a seed for some people and gives you some things to think about um, but I wanted to make that that quick video and talk a little bit about how they view love and infatuation is not love and therefore it really challenges us to question our own inner selves our own connections to our own beliefs and our own inner beings and what we will accept for ourselves and then we have to realize that it's not about them it's about what we will accept for ourselves through our own self-worth and I would hope that most of us would want to attract someone that can unconditionally love us back the way that we can unconditionally love another and this again takes work it takes acceptance that we may have been misguided our whole lives some of us um, it takes realizing that we can create our own heaven or hell depending on what we decide to do and we have to realize that we have a choice and for me personally I made the choice to begin to understand what love was to me and not to the people that raised me or my parents or anyone else and I, I decided to recreate a new belief of what love was to me and therefore now I can expand that outward to the people in my life and I attract people who also believe in those same beliefs about themselves and therefore they are able to then reciprocate the unconditional love and then that that's much different than someone that has infatuation with love and someone that actually knows what it is like to be loved and to love another and so I wanted to touch touch on that and hopefully it answered the question for for the viewer um, and hopefully I planted a seed you know the other thing I want to remind people too is self-love is a daily practice it's you know it, you're not gonna get the fruits of the seed in one day and it's a daily daily practice it's a true commitment to yourself and it's a true commitment to your your own self-worth it's a true commitment to loving yourself and knowing you're good enough no matter the outcome of anything that you're doing in life you know if you meet someone and they turn out to be toxic self-love will say okay you're still good enough it's okay and that's where it takes to get to and it really takes a lot to get into that depth and again it's it's a daily practice it's a practice of gratitude starting with you and gratitude for yourself um, appreciation for yourself and then those things come from inward and reflect outward and chances are once you really start practicing this situation you will never question another person and can they love me because you will know that your love runs at a very deep level and it will become obvious to you when other people cannot show the same reciprocating behavior or or feeling or energy or frequency you know whatever you want whatever it may be to you um, but you'll start to recognize that when within other people and 
that will then allow you to be able to make those choices of whether those people stay in your life or not. And it's much easier to make these decisions and these choices when we're coming from a place of self-love and we know our worth. Therefore, we know we're worthy of love at this point. Therefore, we understand that we don't want to deal with the toxicity of someone that does not understand how to love us back. And we understand that we can love them from a distance and we can let them go. And that's part of our own growth. That's part of self-love. And that's a part of allowing ourselves to connect deeper within ourselves and to follow our own paths in life and understand how this will play out. Um, so with that, I think I will, um, I'll go for now, but I hope this rambling allowed some seeds to be planted and think about some things and truly understand that when you're dealing with a narcissistic person, that they're not going to be able to love you back. And you have to recognize your worth and that you're good enough as you are to deserve to not have to put all of your energy into something or someone that will never be able to reciprocate that back to you. Um, as humans, we want to be loved. And I think it's an important part of our emotional growth and the experience of being loved is an amazing experience. And I can tell you that from experience with that as well, it's, it's, it's a completely new and amazing experience. Something that I never experienced in life before finding that self love and connecting from my heart completely. Um, and I think everyone deserves that. So hopefully, you know, at this point, people will start to understand how narcissists function and will stop and think for a minute how much your own self-worth means to you and really start questioning the whys of the things that we're tolerating and for how long we're tolerating them um, and really get deep into how things are, are working within our own selves, within our own beliefs, within our own perceptions, within our own self perspectives. So with that, I will jump off here for now. Um, 12 minutes of me rambling is, is enough. And if anybody wants to work with me one-on-one -on -one for coaching, you know, self love is a thing that we work on, you know, getting into these root belief systems about ourselves to heal is, is going to change your perspective and your perceptions about yourself, which then changes how we function and respond to life. So with that, I will leave you for now and I hope everybody has a great day. Namaste.